well deserved three points for you there. Yeah, um, really good performance, both with and without the ball. Um, four academy players in, in the 18, three on the pitch uh, at once. Uh, the two young boys who started the game, um, making the, the little full league debuts, I thought were absolutely incredible. But I also think that the senior players they had around them um, really looked after them within the game. And we, we, we probably spent a little bit less time in the build-up phase today and we utilised probably the strengths of Uchi maybe a little bit earlier. Um, but I think we, we it's, it's about time we beat a, t a team here. Um, it's, it's been a, a struggle for us since we've been in League One to, to beat one of the, the bigger clubs uh, at home. Uh, we, we've, we've been competitive this season against Bolton, Peterborough, Derby and lost by the, by the odd goal. And, and we said before the game about can we go and put a a performance together both with and without the ball uh, to be deserving of three points and, and I think we were today Lots of possession for them early on but and but without the real clinical chance other than the, the first minute you weathered that and then your top scorer comes up trumps for you just before half time put you in a really good position didn't it going into the second half Yeah really good goal really good execution of it listen we, we know that they've got really good attacking players on, on that last line and if you give them Space and one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Uh, we, we didn't want the game to become stretched. Um, you know, you know, Jack's 16-year-old and he's playing against one of the best players, in my opinion, in the league in, in that role. Um, he's got incredible pace and good one-on-one -on -one ability, but Jack can be so proud of his performance tonight, uh, as can Jack. Um, so, yeah, we, we were we were very good defensively. Um, we've obviously had a, a lot of, of conversations since that Barnsley uh, game, particularly the first half, where if you defend like we, we did as a team, you, you deserve to be 3-0 down and, and all the things that you then got on the back of that. But the response in the second half was good against Barnsley, and we had to build on that, and it was about... Trying to play with real energy and quality when we could and break lines and pass forward. But ultimately that, that performance was based on what we did without the ball and I thought we shown a real good connection. We let them have possession in areas that where we wanted them to. Uh, and then we we stopped a number of balls into our box, but when the ball did come into our box, I can't remember now having many clear-cut chances in that, and that's a testament to, to every single one of the, the players. You, you talked about the senior players helping out with Jack. It was obvious Ben Garrity was coming over and helping him quite a lot. Yeah. There were, he was getting talked through the game as well, w was Ben by Nathan Smith and by yeah. Jason Lowe as well. There was a real big role to play, like you said, not just for those younger lads, but for your experienced pros tonight, really had to stand up and help some of those lads through difficult parts of the game. Yeah, of, of course. You know, we we played Jesse on on this side to try and counteract the threat of of Hamilton, who's just going incredible pace, and sometimes you know he can just get away from you because of his pace. Hence why we use Jesse on this side, and, and Nathan obviously comes back in, and and, and really helped Ben defensively. But, but Nathan was the Nathan Smith I, I expect him to be, uh, and defended really well, uh, and he's lethal from a yard. <laughs> well, I'm just going to say when that third one goes in, you must be breathing a bit of a sigh of relief there because we know two nils not exactly been a secure scoreline idea, has it? Yeah, I think some, someone said on the bench we've, we've been here before uh, and we said at half time you know, we won nil up, but we have to go and maintain everything we did in the first half, if not better it, because so they've got real good players on their last line and, and they are where they are in the league for a reason. They've got good players, um, but as I say, it's about time that we beat one of the. the, the the bigger teams um, in the league at home and, and hopefully you know, the, the fans go away happy tonight I thought the support was really good uh, I think you know, that they looked at our, our team tonight and saw that the young players on the pitch and, and then they, they, sh they, shown, they looked at the attitude and the, and the body language of the players and it, and it was it was assertive it was aggressive um, we, we played forward w w w as soon as we could whenever we could and yeah I think it was an all around really good performance James Wilson just to mention him signed that new contract before the game came back with a goal as well, albeit deflection, but he's got that ability, hasn't he, to be able to change games for him. You're going to need that. I've just told him it's gone down as an own goal, and obviously it wasn't very happy. You just heard it's a deflection, so I'll let you tell him. But <laughs> listen, he's got he's got undoubted quality. Um, he, he's been. He's been a different person since he came back to the football club. I think the reality of the situation and what you have to do on a daily basis, and, and that's credit to him. Um, he, he was unfortunate with, with his injury against Newcastle uh, in, in the cup competition. But, but I hope he gets everything he deserves, and I think he's, he's now got scored four league goals, uh, which, he, which is... We, we want more. We want competition for places. Uh, I think Big Uchi did really well tonight in terms of getting all the ball for us and being that physical presence. Um, but you know, it, it was an all-around good collective performance. And lastly, it's about generating the momentum and the consistency now isn't it you've got to go to Carlisle on New Year's Day and, and follow this up now yeah um, three wins and a draw I think in the last five performances and we, we now sit here at the halfway stage in 14th in the league 29 points and I think we're a few points light of what 
some of our performances deserved. You know, in, the, in that that period of games where we didn't we didn't win, I thought our, some of our performance were deserving of wins. Sometimes you don't get what you deserve, and then you've got to you've got to overcome that. Um, but say we sit here now at the halfway stage, um, and looking forward to the second half of the season. I think we're going to get better. The, the more the more time we work together, the, the more we spend together, the more we can actually train. Now in January, it'll be a, a rare rare occurrence for us because of the amount of mini games we get. I, I think we can get better, and and I think we can get stronger. And I can think we can get more competitive in numbers. We, we, we're looking at the, the window opening, opening now, and it's opening very shortly. Uh, and we want to improve. And I, I want the players to, to to get better and be the best versions of themselves. And I think there's more there's more in this group.